All right, what's up you guys? So I had a comment um, asking specifically, like should they do a master's, like another master's um, before getting into PA school because they wanna overcome their low GPA. So that's what this is going to be about because I have been there um, and we'll get into just exactly how I've been there in just a few minutes. So if you're in the boat of trying to overcome a low GPA, this video is for you. So let's get into the video right now. What's up you guys, it's Zidana, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so I wanted to talk about this comment um, slash question that I got. Um, I've answered this question kind of sort of similarly like in some other videos. So you might just be able to search up some of the keywords like low GPA and things like that to see like what I said previously. But I'm pretty sure my answer still hasn't changed and it all again boils down to you and your situation and your life. So for me, um, I had the opportunity to get a master's in like health science where I would be able to get a master's degree and from that like there were different paths that you can take four different paths where you could be like in the lab like working in the hematology lab and things like that so um i was like oh this sounds cool this sounds interesting i did summer research before i worked in the lab so i think like it would be cool like to use the pipettes and all those various different things so um i think this might be an option for me because at the time I had recently like the year prior not gotten into PA school and this was like my I don't know second time trying to get into PA school or third time I, I don't remember which time it was but it was literally the last time trying to get into PA school because this was the moment where I was like all right so if I don't get in on this cycle maybe I'll do this master's program so that I'm able to boost my GPA, boost my postgraduate GPA, and, um, you know, have that be the thing that, like, helps determine, like, what I should be doing and, and how good of a student I am and that I can actually carry or do well in a master's program. And that was, like, my logic. Um, the school that I had gotten into was in Connecticut, and they had given me, like, a really good scholarship, which was another option because I was like, okay, like, I don't know if I'll have the money, but the scholarship pretty much took care of everything. And it was like a pipeline. They said like, oh, okay, you know, we do have a PA program. And many of the teachers that teach in the Masters of Health Science degree program will also teach in the PA program. So you'll be able to like kind of get in with them and hopefully be funneled in. So I looked at all of these as pros for the opportunity of like possibly becoming a PA. But when I sat down and I really thought about it and I was like, you know what, like, I don't, I don't want a master's in health science. Like, I don't want this degree. I'm going to go after this degree and it's not going to do anything for my life in the future because all I want to do is become a PA. That's all I want to be. I want to be a PA. I want to work in the field. Um, that's the career that I want to get into. And so when I took a true assessment of it, I was like, no, like I'm not trying to spend extra money just to have a degree that I'm not really going to be using because at the end of the day, I, I'm just using it as a bridge to get my master's of physician assistant medicine. So it wasn't a good fit for me. Now, does that mean that it's going to not be a good fit for you? I don't know. Like maybe you have the, you know, funds that are disposable for you that you can actually put into a second master's degree. And uh, like, believe me, it will assist you. Like they will look at, you know, you can apply to schools that look at your last 60 credits or 30, 90 credits, and that would be your master's degree. And if you do really well in them, then hey, you know, you might be able to just kind of truly overcome that GPA. And that is what you're going to be kind of counted on, or that's what you're going to be assessed on. So so that may be an option for some of you. For me, it wasn't an option. And I like, I'm just not, I'm not of the opinion of like doing something that really isn't going to truly be beneficial in the future to me, um, just to get to that bridge of what I really want to do. And so that's why I was like, look, I'm not doing that. I'm not paying all this extra money. I'm not moving my family um, to Connecticut for, I think it was going to be a, was it a year program? I think it was gonna be like a year, like fully like a year. It was either a year or 18 months and I would be able to do it in a year if I like, you know, kind of was accelerated with certain things. So I wasn't, I wasn't trying to do that, but we like 
legitimately seriously thought about it okay like we had this conversation and, and i sat down and we had a conversation about like what would our lives look like you know like what would work look like how are we like paying for life in general with two children um little ones at that like what's schooling looking like all of those things were taken into consideration but it just didn't work so if you're trying to overcome a low gpa there are very just different options that you can do outside of just simply like getting a second master's degree um if it's a matter of like looking at things in terms of what is your funds gonna look like i would suggest just cherry picking like the prerequisite requirements that you did poorly on um and doing all of those like maybe if, if it's a year of your time um then do those prerequisites and build your gpa that way um because it's going to be cheaper than doing a whole new master's degree if it's going to come out to be the same then do the master's degree but for the most part it's going to be less expensive um, and that's the route that i chose i literally just went through looked at the prerequisites that i didn't do well on like anything that i didn't get an a on or um some things there were some courses that i got like a c on i think that was like micro was it micro or maybe second semester of biochemistry something like that there were like maybe two science courses that i got to see on um for like one of the semesters um and i retook those because i was like you know like this is seriously tanking my gpa and it helped you know i was able to bring my gpa up significantly overall and science gpa and that is the route that i chose to do again it's not the route for everyone but you're asking me and in my opinion like i didn't want to spend the money to do a master's degree when i could just like be very strategic and spend like 500 dollars here four hundred dollars there for three and four credit courses at my local community college to actually like satisfy those prerequisites and boost my gpa so i think it's all a matter of what will work best for you and your family um and if you do plan on you know using your master's in health science or whatever it is biomedical science degree in the future while you still try to get to pa school um to get like healthcare experience or things like that then hey the, yeah that might be a very great option for you um for me it wasn't but uh that's just my two cents okay hopefully this video helps um again there are lots of videos that i've already made on how to overcome a, a low gpa so you can just type that in the search bar maybe i might tag one somewhere for you um and then you know for the most part just really have these conversations with yourself and your family on what the best decision will be in terms of like overall lifestyle um and future lifestyle if you do decide to go the route of getting it would essentially be your first master's um, or second master's to then get a third master's as a physician assistant okay all right hopefully this helps if you have any other questions for me leave them in the comment section below don't forget to like and subscribe follow me on instagram at down the pa and on instagram at sunset friday live and get that to university please be sure to subscribe to sunset friday live um, as we are bringing out new content every week um, every friday we are dropping a new video on christian life and entertainment okay so i hope to see you there <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you guys next time bye